Another check on our weather with Ashton. Hey there. Yeah, Michelle, definitely a warm afternoon for us. Uh, not quite as hot as yesterday, but still pretty toasty. 89 degrees right now downtown Denver, at least at City Park looking toward the city. We've seen an uptick in cloud cover over the last couple of hours, and that's going to continue to be the case. Eventually, we should see a few showers here along the front range, similar to what we're seeing right now in Summit County. That's up at uh, Durkham Mountain, the top of Keystone, where it's 52 degrees. That's Lake Dillon in the distance, and you can see the rain definitely coming down there. Meanwhile, a little farther west, Glenwood Springs. All is quiet there right now, but this area is under a flash flood watch from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. Technically includes I-70 from Vail Pass all the way over through Glenwood Canyon, but the biggest concern is right there uh, in the canyon, the uh, Grizzly Creek burn scar, of course, and uh, if we see any debris flows from that scar, we could certainly see a closure along I-70. It's possible well, CDOT could even uh, proactively close uh, the interstate through the canyon if it starts raining in that area. So far, there hasn't been much rain in Garfield County, but there's been plenty of rain in Eagle County and Summit County over into uh, the Georgetown and Winter Park areas. For Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins, we'll st we're still dry. Maybe a few raindrops there on the west side of Boulder right near the base of the Flatirons. That's it. But as we go through the afternoon, we have about a 50-50 chance of a shower from the high country making its way into your neighborhood if you're here along the urban corridor. You can see that on the first alert future cast with the moisture generally moving north and northeast here with time. Overnight tonight, we're going to see the activity wrap up, but even at as late as midnight tonight, there could still be a few showers up in the Rocky Mountain National Park region. Temperatures today top out in the 60s and 70s in the mountains, 80s and 90s out west. Certainly the hottest weather in the state on the eastern plains with triple digits from Ray down to Burlington. We're going to hit about 92 or so here in Denver. We're already at 90 in the city. Tomorrow, temperatures drop about 5 degrees or so. Cloud cover overall should be a little thicker tomorrow. We're going to have another 50% chance for showers and storms for Wednesday. And then here's Thursday, our last day in the 80s for a while with another chance for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. As we move into Friday, we really dry out and we really start warming up. Just a 10% chance for a stray late day storm on Friday. And then for the weekend, 98 on Saturday. That would tie the record for July 9th. It's actually one of the coolest quote unquote records in July. Most of our records are in the triple digits, so we could be in record territory there on Saturday. Sunday 96 and Michelle I'll slide these days over so you can see early next week stays quite warm. Upper 80s, lower 90s with a continued chance for showers and storms early next week. Yeah, it sure does. All right, Ashton, thank you.